liberty. Pobreza. To freedom in the name of Jesus. La to bless in the name of Jesus. Be revived. Be revived. Be revived. Be revived. Bondage to freedom in the name of Jesus. Freedom. Liberty. Freedom. Liberty. Freedom. Worship him, give thanks to God. Adore el idea, gracias a Dios. There is, there is a gentleman there. You received seven books of Moses. Over the time the thing was flourish, there's some money blessing. You, you taught those things that brought about those blessings. But I want to tell you, no. The repercussion is what you are seeing now. You begin to see dead people. They attack you. They flog you. You are about to run mental. Please come out. Receive several book of Moses sometime in the past. So come, come, come. He's dead. So you, 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 you are having a car accident and all of that. Today you are level zero. So come out. Jesus love you. I was talking about a lady that is bedwetter. A woman that is a bedwetter. Don't be shy. It's there. So it's still started. Don't be shy. Come out and receive your deliverance. I repeated it again this third time. Okay? Jesus loves you. So there's a brother there. You're a spiritualist. You have a room that you attend to people. See vision for them, I don't know. This is what you have been doing over time now. Please come out. So this is coming back to you. Your children are sick. Even your son is, is at the point of death. Please come out. These are the vacation the of doing things through Satan. So please come, 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 come. This God loves you. Let's turn to this. There is a brother too there. You, 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 you meet, you often meet the animal. This is affection for animal, going, you have an affair with animal. So you are in position to tell her the various animal you have, uh, you have uh, met during this time. So please. So we have brother there that just came back from the prison. You were arrested, in overseas, deported, and uh, it is a mess experience. I think it's your wife that reported you. I don't know what you have done. You, you have done wrong. But Jesus still loves you. Come out for deliverance. God loves you. Thank you. Who is a Falake? There's a sister called Falake there. That is the name you put. You may be bearing any other name. That is your name. So please, Falake, come out. You have a child. And you are looking for this child for many years now. You divorced from your husband. You left. You left your husband, but your husband took your wife, your your child. So for the past some year now. So come on. So Jesus loved you. Hallelujah. We still have a service meeting at. your hand hallelujah wave your hand wave your hand wave your hand give thanks to God give thanks to God give thanks to God the Lord is good all the time I can hear you Dios es bueno, all the time wave your hand wave your hand wave your hand and give thanks to God for what he has done for you today Agite sus manos y dele gracias a Dios. Allow them to come out. Please. There's one that put on red attire, red attire. So please come out. The red attire is a native. 
you put on the native but it's red right now your flag of your nation let's pray for your nation our country raise it up raise it up le drapeau de votre pays prions votre nation sin poder orar por su nación levante su bandera raise your flag up élevez le drapeau de votre pays pour votre nation Open your lips and begin to ask God to turn around the situation of your country. The Lord can turn around anything. Whatever challenge your nation are facing, ask God to turn around. The Lord turn around my nation. Turn around. The, all the spirit that affected attacking your nation. Open your lips, open your lips, open your lips. Ask God to redeem your nation from the spirit of idolatry, killing, stealing, destruction. Ask God to redeem your leader from that spirit of misuse, misrule. Open your lips. Abra sus labios y pídale al Señor que redima su país, que transforme la situación de su nación. Demandez Dieu de racheter votre pays de tout esprit de corruption, de mal gouvernance. Demandez la grâce de Dieu son intervention dans votre pays. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, redeem our nation. Open your lips. Redeem my nation. Redeem my nation. Rescue my nation. Save my nation. Prayer, prayer. Ore ahora mismo para que el Señor redima y salve su nación en el nombre de Jesús. On the table, on the table. Priez, demandez Dieu de sauver votre nation, de racheter votre nation. Priez où que vous soyez. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Right now you want to rededicate yourself and those of you that are just coming to Christ for the first time. Open your lips and say after me, Lord Jesus. Señor Jesús. Señor Jesús. I'm a sinner. Soy un pecador. Come Señor into Señor. my heart. Ven a mi corazón. Wash me with your precious Ven blood. Ven a mi cœur, lave-moi avec ton sang précieux. Wash me with your precious blood. Lave-moi con tu precioso sangre. Save my soul. Sauve mon âme. Make Salva mi alma. Make me a channel. Fais de moi un canal. A channel of shining light. Hazme un canal de luz brillante. Where there is darkness. Là où il y a des ténèbres. Make me a channel. Hazme un canal. A channel of faithfulness, where there's unfaithfulness, canal de make me a channel, un canal. a channel of pardon, un canal de pardon. where un canal there's de injury, make me a channel, un canal. a channel of forgiveness, un canal de pardon. where there's sin, un canal de pardon, là où il péché. in Jesus Christ's name, amen, rejoice, rejoice, Rejoicez-vous. Rejoice, I'm a channel of God. I can hear you. I can hear you. So you need who that is. I can hear you. Just be an offer to you. Rejoice as a channel of God. Rejoicez-vous comme hijo de Dios. Rejoicez-vous en tant qu'enfant de Dieu. So thank you very much. I can't wait to see you for the meeting after the service. I'm the one you professor, the one that's in prison. My wife de reported me, they quoted me. Yeah. Man of God, I'm the one you prophesy. I was in prison in Botswana, so my wife reported me. So after they detained me in prison and then they reported me uh, day before yesterday. Don't forget that this one is down after this.
All you said is true, men of God. So she now went to give the DIS my, my contact address and then they find me that my passport was not okay and then they took me to prison. After then, we, they sent me home, they deported me. So I need a prayer, I need a deliverance, I need a deliverance. Il a été dénoncé à la police, il a été mis en prison et il a été expulsé du Botswana. Il vient juste d'arriver pour confirmer cette parole prophétique, il vient de confesser. Concerning right now, they're coming out one by one. My name is Vijay Sony. I was doing web. Okay, my name is Vijay Sony. I'm, I was the one the man of God professor. I told about the book of Seven Seals of Moses. I went to store and buy it when I'm in school, so I'm reading it. I was doing web but since I started reading that book. My life, my career have destroyed. When I got married, destroyed my my marriage also. Everything just go down. My name is PJ Sony. I was the one man of God prophesied to about the seven book of Moses. So I went to the store and bought it when I'm in school. So when I'm reading it. I'm really, I'm doing well before. I have bought enough things for part of it. Since I started reading it, everything got scrap, destroyed. And I started seeing attack through my dream. Ever since then, my life become unbearable. Yes. entregó durante la relación masiva. Changing the world. Visit the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Log on to our website www.goan.org. Go to the Visit Us page. And for those from within Nigeria, you can call the three visit lines that appear on the website. For those from outside Nigeria, there are some frequently asked questions that will assist you in your visit procedure. Remember, it is essential that anyone from outside Nigeria should fill in the questionnaire. Please remember to answer every question that is asked. And after you have filled in the questionnaire, remember to click send. 
please note, you must wait to receive an invitation or confirmation of your visit from us before making any traveling arrangements or flight bookings. All communication with the Synagogue Church of All Nations should be through the following email address, info at goan.org. We look forward to hearing from you. Emmanuel, God with us. Emmanuel TV. We are sons and daughters of love. Let love live. Emmanuel TV. Changing lives, changing nations, changing the world. Through the spirit. When one does not worship God, who is a spirit in the spirit, the worship is defective. That is carnal. If we do not worship God, who is a spirit in the spirit? Can we hope to obtain his favor and acceptance? Holy Spirit has the power of choice, but you has the ability to decide. That is, exercise the way through the mind. Tell your neighbor, commit yourself to the guidance of the word. The word is the tool in the hands of the Holy Spirit. He gives us the word. If the word does not pass through him, you are speaking to yourself, you are speaking of yourself. No one can obey the word of God. without being led by the Holy Spirit. You must be led by the Holy Spirit to obey the word of God. If not, how will you? Because the Holy Spirit gives the words. The word is a tool in the hands of the Holy Spirit. Tool. With this, our knowledge of the scripture is not the key. Evidence is you can master and quote the chapter and verses in the Bible for years. And hear thousands of sermons. And read many Christian books. But still, we are spiritual gamas. This is a spiritual baby. Yes, still, we are spiritual gamas. Upon your knowledge of the scriptures. He needs your testimony to strengthen their faith, to get them out of their desperate setback. When you acknowledge God as your healer, as your redeemer, and as your savior, he will do it again. is your testimony. Share it with us. Log on to www.emmanuel.tv, then click on testimonies. Then type in your name, email address, and other details in the spaces provided. If you wish to upload a picture to attach to your testimony, Click on the Browse button, select the picture from where you saved it on your computer, and click Open. Next, type in your glorious testimony in the box below. 
then click submit. You can also share your testimony by calling our testimony lines. Each time God leads us through a battle, it is in our own interest to testify to His goodness as a way of thanksgiving for not allowing our adversaries to triumph over us. We look forward to hearing your My name is Mwansa Chanda. I'm a Zambian residing in Botswana. And tell us the problem that brought you to the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Uh, I came about a week ago coming to seek deliverance because I'm 21 years old now and I've been bedwetting since I can remember. Since birth. So you came with a problem of bedwetting right from birth? Yes, sir. Can you just explain how this uh, bedwetting has really affected your life as a young man? Um, as, as, a, as a young man growing up, you do, you'd want to visit your friends and your relatives and it's, it's really embarrassing to visit your relatives and go and mess up at their place. So that's what's been happening my whole life, every night. So this, this problem of bedwetting was happening every single day? Every single day. Could you give us a few examples of how it really uh, caused that embarrassment or disgrace to you, maybe when you went out to a friend's house? Just give us some examples of how this really affected you. I got, uh, there's one that I recall very much when I was a kid. I, we traveled to my cousin's place with my parents, and when we got there the following morning, we were sharing the bed with my, with my older cousin, and the following morning found the bed was wet, and it was just an embarrassment, because by then I was already about 12 years, and you can't expect someone of that age to be going through that. Okay, so now you decided to come to the Synagogue Church of All Nations because you've had this problem right from birth for 21 years. Can you tell us what happened to you last week? Last week I got a touch from the man of God after the service, in the prayer line after the service. And I didn't manifest physically, but the following night when I slept, I had a dream someone was touching me. And after that, I have not experienced it, not even once. This has now been like the sixth day. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. So you mean for the first time in your life, this last week since the prayer, you have not bedwetted once? This is the first week I'm doing that, like the whole week flat without bedwetting. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ one more time. And what can you say about the power of God that uh, stopped you from bedwetting through that prayer of Prophet T.B. Joshua? You know, as, as people, we tend to, we tend to doubt the, we do not necessarily doubt, but our faith is just too little sometimes, because with me, I, when I was touched, it was a quick touch, and you didn't get a chance to talk to the man of God, and I was thinking to myself, what, <laughs> nothing happened. So I went to sleep, and as I went to sleep, I tried not to drink water. But still, even after not manifesting and not being talked to, I'm still healed. And everything is, is fine now. Amen. Glory be to God Almighty. That's a wonderful encouragement for those present here and our viewers around the world. And finally, brother, what is your word of advice to our viewers? My word of advice is um, in whatever you're going through, there's only one place you can run to. It's just to God. There's nowhere else you can go to where you'll find solution especially to the spiritual, the spiritual types of problems like what I had, because it couldn't be explained medically. Amen. We thank God for our brother's life. Let, one more time, let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Vous entendez un témoignage merveilleux de ce garçon qui avait un problème de faire pipi au lit. C'était un problème très embarrassant qui a perturbé sa vie pendant longtemps. Mais lorsqu'il est venu, l'homme de Dieu l'a touché dans la puissance du Saint-Esprit et maintenant il est libre et délivré. Ça fait une semaine qu'il dort, qu'il boit de l'eau spécialement et il ne fait plus pipi au lit. Il est délivré et son intégrité, sa dignité a été restaurée. Il est guéri dans la puissance du Saint-Esprit. Acabamos de escuchar este maravilloso testimonio de ese hombre que nos cuenta que desde nacimiento había tenido un problema de mojar la cama. Él nos dice que eh, por gracia de Dios la semana pasada durante la oración masiva él recibió la liberación y ahora está completamente libre y no ha vuelto a tener este problema de ninguna manera. Continuamos.
Can I talk to you? Where's your wife? Come. This lady is threatening you with divorce. Эта женщина, она тебя угрожает разводом. Дай человек Божий. Yes, man of God, but true. New people need deliverance. Она угрожает тебя разводом, и вам обеим нужно освобождение. Yes, man of God. There's a problem in the house. Есть проблема в семье. to see her. She lost affection. Yes, man of God, that's true. Affection is, is zero. Now. Yes, man of God, that's true. Affection is zero. So, yes, it is true. It's okay, thank you. So we saw the prophecy that took place in the life of this couple, the very problem that brought them here. Right now they're here to confirm the word of prophecy for their life and give testimony in Jesus' name. So you're welcome in Jesus' name to the Synagogue Church for Nations. Please tell us your names and where you come from. Good morning, church. My name is Yuli Kolesnikov. I am from Russian Federation, Krasnodar. Рядом со мной моя жена Наталья Колесникова. Right beside me is my wife Natalia Kolesnikov. She is also from Krasnodar, Russian Federation. Can you tell us about the prophecy that you received last week and how it's true for your life? Могли бы нам рассказать о пророчестве, которое было высвобождено в вашу жизнь и насколько оно правдиво и истинно в вашей жизни? На служении пророк тебе Джошуа вызвал меня и сказал мне, что моя жена угрожает мне разводом. Ministry, Prophet Tibi Joshua called me and they prophesied me that my wife uh, frightening, frightening me with divorce. I confirm this prophecy and it was continued during all three years of my marriage. У нас с момента того, как мы поженились, после трех дней нашего медового месяца у нас начались проблемы со здоровьем. After three days when we get married, uh, we start to face challenges with our health. Problems with our health. Мы постоянно ссорились, и у нас не было даже одного двух дней чтобы мы жили в мире we didn't have peace at all and I don't remember even two days when we were living together in peace доходило до того что когда я приехал домой с работы я увидел пустую квартиру разорванные фотографии свадебные и на столе лежали кольца once upon I came back from my work and I saw torn all pictures from the wedding pictures and I saw two of my our rings on the table. В течение трех лет нашей жизни мы неоднократно расходились к родителям. During three, our three years marriage, we were living separately and we were living separately at our parents' houses. Чтобы вы могли представить, что творилось в нашей семье, я расскажу вам просто одну историю. For your understanding of what was happening in our family, I will tell you one story. В момент нашего ссоры мы ехали за рулем на скорости примерно 100 километров в час. Once upon we were, I was driving the car and we were together in the car. I was driving, it was, the speed was 100 km an hour. И моя жена, она начала просто бить меня, и люди, которые ехали сзади, они начали сигналить нам. Yeah. 
and suddenly my wife started to beat me and those other cars what was driving beside us they start to give the signal нигде не могли нам помочь в нашей ситуации no one couldn't help us in our situation однажды мы начали смотреть Emmanuel TV в записи Once upon we start to watch Emmanuel TV on the YouTube. И мы молились, мы приняли верой, что здесь в синагоге нам помогут нашей ситуации. Me and my wife we start to pray together uh, with, on Emmanuel TV, and we believe that we will find our help here in the synagogue. И мы молились, мы долго молились вместе с пророком Тиби Джошуа, прикасались к экранам, все как он советовал. We were praying a long time. We were praying with Prophet Тиби Джошуа. We were touching our screens with faith. И в какой-то момент мы представляли, что пророк Тиби Джошуа вызовет меня, скажет. Где твоя жена, и моя жена подойдет, и он будет нам пророчествовать. И когда в прошлое воскресенье все произошло, я даже сначала не верил, что это на самом деле происходит. То есть все, о чем мы молились, все исполнилось так же, как мы хотели этого. So we could just hear the confirmation of the prophecy, exactly what the man of God said, that your wife is threatening you with divorce, uh, that she doesn't have affection for you. This is the problem that you're having. We can see the confirmation. Can you tell us, ever since the word of prophecy and the deliverance that you received last week, what has been the changes in your wife? То есть вы подтверждаете все это пророчество, которое пророк высвобождал в вашу жизнь. Скажите также, какие изменения произошли в вашей жизни после освобождения молитвы? Я могу сказать, что впервые за несколько лет, когда мы ехали с молитвенной горы, мы с моей женой шутили. I can say, tell you that after several years, when we're coming back from the prayer mountain, we were joking with my wife. We didn't have, we didn't have this uh, relationship in marriage. And it happened, uh, just, I, I find out that it's happened. I mean, we start to joke, we start to laugh, we start to have good relationship. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Yes, the right knowledge of God settles peace indeed. Before we hear from you again, we actually want to hear from your wife and listen to her exactly what happened to her during those years of her marriage and how she was located by God and delivered in Jesus' name. So, madam, you're welcome. Please tell us your name and where you're from. Добро пожаловать. Пожалуйста, представьтесь, как вас зовут, откуда вы. Я Спрунова Наталья, Российская Федерация, город Краснодар. My name is Natalia, I'm a wife of Yuli, and I'm from Krasnodar, Russian Federation. So can you tell us about the prophetic message you received from Prophet T.B. Joshua, and how is it true for your life? Могли бы вы нам рассказать о пророческом послании, которое вы приняли от пророка Т.Б. Джошуа, и насколько оно истинно в вашей жизни? Да, когда нас вызвал пророк Т.Б. Джошуа для пророчества, он сказал, что у меня прошло всякое влечение к моему мужу. Я это подтвердила. When, when Prophet T.B. Joshua approached me, he prophesied that I, I lost all my affection to my, towards my husband, and I confirmed this. Я об этом говорила неоднократно моему мужу. Мы об этом молились. Before, yes, it's true, and I was telling about this, but I don't have any affection towards my, my husband. I told him many times uh, face to face. Мы жили почти три года как соседи. Я просто не знала, что дальше делать. Yeah, we were living together as not as a husband and wife, but as two neighbors, almost three years. 
Я молилась, я просила Бога, чтобы Господь дал новые чувства, новое желание, но ничего не было. I was praying God that uh, He would restore our marriage, my de desire to Him, but nothing didn't happen. Меня в моем муже раздражало все, даже как он ест, как он спит, как он глотает. I, everything was irritating me what was in life of my husband. For example, when he was eating, when he was drinking something, it was irritating me. Однажды мы узнали о пророке Тиби Джошуа и о Мануэл Тиви. Once upon we find out information about Emmanuel Tiva and the Prophet Tibi Joshua. И пророк Тиби Джошуа там говорил, все, что приближается к Богу, будет атаковано. И я, когда это услышала, я схватилась за это пророчество. When I heard the prophecy about, about this, I touched this prophecy and uh, had some hope in my heart. Can you just tell us, during the time you were married and you had no affection for your husband, you were threatening him with divorce, what were the dreams that you were having and what were your experiences in, in life before you even married your husband? Могли бы рассказать нам до, до брака, э, какие у вас были опыты, какие сны были, какие переживания? Расскажите нам вот этот период, как про, прошел у вас. До брака у меня, мне всегда снились покойники, что за мной гонятся, меня хотят э, убить, изнасиловать. Познакомились мы с ним, у нас было все нормально, пока мы не поженились. When, when we get know each other, uh, before marriage, the relationship was good, normal. И когда мы поженились, это все продолжалось, и плюс еще потом начали сниться собаки, которые меня кусают, за мной тоже гонятся, хотят меня растерзать. And after marriage, I also start to have some dreams. In the dreams, I saw dogs that were trying to bite me, kill me. В общем, моя жизнь, я не понимала для чего. Мне было все неинтересно, я ненавидела мужа. So, you know, I lost any interest to life. I didn't know why I'm living at all. Depressed. I was depressed. И когда услышала о тебе Джошуа пророка, то э, жизнь заиграла новыми красками. When I heard about Prophet Tibi Joshua, his ministry, my life started to change and I, I got the hope about my life. Мы начали вдвоем молиться и начали по чуть-чуть маленькие изменения в нашей семье происходить. Мы верили, что Господь нам сможет помочь. И мы приняли решение приехать сюда. И это чудо произошло, мы здесь. We were believing that uh, God will help us and we came here by the grace of God and this miracle happened in our lives. Мы благодарим Господа за то, что Он помог нам сюда приехать, за то, что то, что мы молились, за что мы просили Господа, это все произошло. Мы не могли вначале поверить и до сих пор сейчас мы так рады, что э, хотим сказать всем людям, чтобы они верили и не теряли надежду, что Господь им поможет. We thankful to God for that He brought us here and united us and we also want to advise all people that it's possible to restore anything in God's hand. We thank God for your life and for the wonderful confirmation of this prophecy that has brought deliverance to your home. Can you tell us now what are the changes now in your attitude towards your husband? How are you feeling now towards him? Мы рады за вас и мы тоже присоединяемся к вашей радости. Скажите, какие изменения произошли в вашем после вашего освобождения и пророчества вот за эту неделю в ваших отношениях? Расскажите нам, пожалуйста, об этом. Ну, меня мой муж меня больше не раздражает, как он спит, как он ест. Я все время, когда на него смотрю, мне все в нем нравится. Я им любуюсь. As I said before, he was irritating me everything. But now, I like how he eats, how he looks like. I like how he's, he uh, sleeps or everything I like in him. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Hallelujah.
We thank God that that evil spirit that was causing you to lose affection for your husband has been cast out in Jesus' name at this word of prophecy. Can you just tell us what do you advise people all over the world based on your experience? Могли бы вы посоветовать зрителям всего мира на основании вашего пережитого, какой бы совет вы могли бы дать? Всегда надейтесь, верьте и ждите. Смотрите Эммануэл ТВ и никогда не унывайте. Господь есть, Он вас слышит, даже если вам кажется, что Он вас не слышит. Смотрите Эммануэл ТВ и лучшее все впереди. Don't, don't give up uh, and watch always Emmanuel TV. God can restore any kind of situation that you have in your life. Keep watching Emmanuel TV. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ, the miracle worker. Well, we can see now they're totally restored. Their marriage has been reconciled through this message of prophecy and deliverance in Jesus' name. And we want to hear a final word from your husband and ask him his advice after what this wonderful miracle has happened to him. So, can you tell us your advice? Пожалуйста, скажите, какой совет могли бы дать зрителям всего мира? Мой совет такой, я услышал его от пророка Тиби Джошуа. Брак между людьми должен быть союзом, а не соревнованием, как было у нас. I heard once upon from Prophet Tibi Joshua that the marriage between two people must be not competition but cooperation. Мужья, любите своих жен и смотрите Emmanuel TV. Это укрепит вас вере. И если вы будете настойчивы, Бог даст вам то, что вы просите. Husbands, love your wife and watch Emmanuel TV. And God will restore and strengthen your faith and you will get for what you ask from the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Vemos esta maravillosa reconciliación después de eh, haber tenido muchos problemas. Ellos vinieron acá a la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones en busca de solución. Y el domingo pasado el profeta TV Joshua liberó un mensaje profético diciéndoles que no había afecto en su relación y que eh, la esposa lo estaba tratando a él con carta de divorcio. Y escuchamos aquí la confirmación de profecía donde cuentan todos los problemas que tuvieron antes de llegar aquí a este lugar de solución. Pero hoy para la gloria de Dios... Esta relation s'est restaurée. Continuons. Nous avons entendu le témoignage de ce couple merveilleux. Le prophète avait donné une parole de prophétie à cet homme. Il dit, oui, ta femme. Je vois ta femme, te donne des lettres de menaces, des menaces de divorce. L'homme de Dieu voyait le couple au bord de la séparation et la femme menacée de partir. La parole de prophétie a révélé la source de leur problème. Elle a fait délivrer, tout le monde fut délivré. Et vous voyez que le couple a été restauré. Le mariage a été sauvé par le ministère de la réconciliation du Saint-Esprit. Maintenant, l'affection est rétablie, l'entente est rétablie, la communion est rétablie. Ils sont en couple nouveau dans le Seigneur. Que Dieu vous bénisse. This marriage is about to collapse. The marriage is about to collapse because of uh, accusation. Come on, when your husband is here. I mean, I think this is threatening your marriage. In response to the prophecy of a couple having a problem in their marriage, these two come forward to meet the man of God. I say there's a conflict, husband and wife, that is here. Yes, it is us, sir. That's why we are here. It is not the fault of your wife. There's evil spirit that is tormenting this woman. This is your wife. Yes, my husband. What I'm about to say is a nothing. I will not be able to say it here because your wife embarrasses you. Yes, man of God. It's he true, man of God. you. People, you are given money. He embarrasses it's you. It's true, man of God. Don't it's worry. Help us, man of God. No, 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 no. Help me, man of God. Mm. We are here, please. So, help me, please. She came from London two days ago just because of this issue. Look, if you believe you are a beautiful lady, 
and you are selling your beauty, you are deceiving yourself. Listen, this is your husband. If you leave this man, oh my God, forget about your beauty. I know you have spirit that tormenting you to do what you are doing. You have wrong. I have wrong him. Yeah. You listen to that. He say inside her, she knows she wronged you and is sorry. She will be delivered. Okay. Okay. And I'm happy you said this. Stand up, please. So whatever threats, threat to leave marriage or whatever, put it behind. There's nothing like that. That should be the reason why you should love her. What happened to you should be the reason why you should love this man. What happened to this lady should be the reason why you should love her the more. And tell those people, now I'm loving my wife more than ever before. Shame of you. Thank you, Thank you Jesus. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, man of Thank God. Jesus. The man after the service to pray for their deliverance. Prophet T.B. Joshua prays for the couple, delivering them both in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. That was the power of the prophetic word in the life of this couple. And right now they're here in our midst to give a testimony. And also, once again, it's an opportunity for us as people of God to learn some valuable lessons of life. And we believe that your lives and also your marriages will be strengthened as you listen to their own experience and draw some lessons from that. So, sir, you're welcome in Jesus' name. Please introduce yourself to us and the lady beside you. People of God, Iman, my name is Lucky. I'm a Nigerian, residing in the United Kingdom. And the lady standing beside me is my wife. Businessman, I'm into a fashion home. We have a very big boutique, a top class boutique. We also have a, a couple of hairdressers salons, and we're also into properties, real estate. That's what we do for a living. Yes, and uh, our, our, our fashion home, we cater for top celebrities, the big, uh, the top actors and actresses, and uh, all these musical uh, artists. They, we talk about the very, very top. That's what we do. Uh, okay, so sir, tell us the word of prophecy that you received with your wife last week. Yeah, I can confirm the prophecy to be true. The man of God was spot on because that was the reason why we actually came for the deliverance. Yeah, because my wife, it is true because some time ago, my wife has actually confided in me to let me know that she has been attacked with this spirit of lust. And uh, by so doing, I felt a bit so disturbed knowing the kind of a level we were in the United Kingdom, then I had to make sure we have to, co that's actually why we came here. It has, not, it has not been so easy for coming here. It has been taking me about two years doing, praying, fasting to make sure she comes here to get herself delivered from this spirit of loss that has actually destroyed our marriage. Okay, so, so can you explain uh, how long you've known her, how long you've been married, and how this uh, spirit of lust in the life of your wife really affected the marriage and how you found out about this. Okay. Yeah, the spirit of love has affected our marriage. We've been together for over 20 years because our first son is 19 years now. And uh, 10 years ago, we celebrated our marriage. And in the marriage, it was, like a it was like a carnival, very big in Benin. We came to celebrate our marriage. But after the marriage celebration, the business that we were doing very, very, very well, we began to notice some uh, galloping in the business. And it, we didn't really know what was happening. And uh, while that was going on, from nowhere, I just packed my load from London and I came to Nigeria for no reason I didn't even know. And I left a multi-million multi business back in England. So while I was in Nigeria, I now div uh, diverted into something I didn't even know anything about. I believe that this spirit was also tormenting me too because I was now doing a bar business, completely different from what I even know. So while I was in Nigeria, I began to hear some uh, rumor about my wife. But because I've never believed in uh, third parties in uh, coming into uh, marriage, I've always ignored it. So but this keep on going. Then, when I was, while I was in Nigeria, my wife do often come to Nigeria, 
every year, sometimes twice a year, you know. So that was, that, it keeps on like that. There was a day where I was about to see her off to the airport, you know, and uh, I noticed she was too glued to her mobile phone. Then something just told me, why is she, too, can I have the mobile phone? When I got a hold of the mobile phone, I discovered a whole lot of text messages that was not really godly and friendly. That was how I got to know that, oh, this rumor that I probably was hearing about is all true. So and I said to her, okay, let's see if we can uh, make things work out. And I invited her, she, she traveled that very day, and I invited her to come back uh, to Nigeria almost immediately so we can talk about it, you know. Then we did talk about it, and I said, oh, okay, but try as much as you can. But she also made me to understand that it's not her. When the Spirit comes upon her, she cannot handle it. I understand. But because of also the preaching of man of God, that always say, oh, don't reject uh, uh, people because of their weakness. So I head on to that. I keep on supporting her, praying and fasting to make sure a day like this actually come to pass where we can be standing and testifying for the glory of God and the shame uh, to the devil. That is actually all here. Okay, sir. So you, you had these rumors whilst you were in Nigeria. She was in UK. And later when you discovered the, the various uh, text messages on her phone, you confronted her. Did she actually open up and admit that? that this was what was happening and who were the, the caliber of people that she found herself meeting? Yeah, yeah. Going back to the prophecy of man of God, that is where that one comes in. Yes, when th that happened, she admitted and uh, confessed to me that, oh, this is exactly what the issue was. The embarrassment that uh, man of God said, that was during the confession when she was not telling me, mentioning names, I just discovered that there were older people, even sometimes people that were even working on that me, which was really not too good at all. That was actually where the uh, embarrassment of a uh, man of God comes in. Okay, so this is in confirmation of the prophecy that uh, your wife's behavior actually in UK really caused embarrassment to you because the people she was involved with were people that were working for you or people that you saw as your father figures, elderly people. These were the people that she actually had an encounter with because of that spirit of lust. That's, that's correct. Yeah. Okay, and the man of God said that the marriage was literally on the point of collapsing, if not that uh, the prophecy came forth. What can you say about that, sir? Yeah, I can confirm that to be true because sometime last year, uh, there is this my little cousin's daughter that uh, my wife went to the house and uh, she gave the little girl a phone to help her to tap a message. And uh, that my cousin always tell her daughter that auntie is her husband's uh, auntie is a, a brother's husband. So when the little girl tapped the message, the little girl now go, uh, went back to her mother. Uh, mommy, in you said auntie is a uh, mommy's uh, um, a bro, uh, um, a wife. Hi, auntie is uh, your brother's uh, wife. Your yeah, mommy said yes. Then the mommy now said, why did you ask? Shana said that the message she tapped on the, the auntie said I should help her to tap was to a man. Then that cousin now called me. So I felt this stuff, said, ah, not again, not after what we have gone through. Then I now also invited her to say, please come and, and uh, after a while, yeah, there was a little bit of argument, but she also now let me know that, oh, yes, something went wrong. And I said, this time, no. It's either you come to the synagogue church foundation for your deliverance or the marriage has to stop. I ain't going further without deliverance. But yeah, that's exactly how we find ourselves here. Okay, so this was a situation this couple was in. They, they had come to the point where they were about to separate unless there was an agreement to come to the synagogue church foundation for deliverance. And to the glory of God, sir, last week the prophets located your case in a prophecy, counseled you, and then prayed for you and your wife. Can you just tell us, since the deliverance... Uh, that you and your wife received last week, what are the changes you've witnessed to the glory of God? Oh, I can confirm it's been, it's been so beautiful. Since the prayer from man of God, my wife is totally a new person. She's so different. She's always saying that I'm so, I'm so light. It's like something left her. She's actually a different person. And I must say to you, I love her even more than I have always loved her. I give glory all to God. I say thank you, Jesus, for this deliverance. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. 
highest. That is the power of deliverance and that word of prophecy. So you mean to say now, sir, that there's no more thoughts in your heart of leaving your wife. You're now with her and you know that that spirit of lust has left her completely. Not at all. No thought of leaving her. If it's possible, I want to marry her again and again and again. I just love her. Glory be to God Almighty. We thank Jesus Christ for what he has done in this marriage. We just want to hear a quick word from your wife as well before listening to your advice, sir. So, madam, you are welcome in Jesus' name. Just introduce yourself to us and tell us how can you confirm the prophecy of the man of God to be true. Good morning, everybody. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Um, the prophecy of man of God is true. Okay. My name is Clara Igariwa, and um, everything my husband says about me is true. And the prophecy of... Um, of the word of man of God is true. So, so how, how can you confirm that prophecy to be true? Just explain how this prophecy is true for your life. Yeah, it started when I was a young little girl. I remember my mother always tell me if I'm sleeping, I talk. Like I say a lot of words when I'm sleeping in my dream. And sometimes they get a paper and write it down. My late father always said, oh, my prophecy will start talking, I talk. Even sometimes he tell me when I sleep, I talk as well, even when I'm still big. So I notice if I want something now, and I said I want something, I will get it. So the thing is always pushing, and plus I have, when he left London actually, I was missing up with bad friends. Because when we were together, I don't even know, I live in London for 30 years, I don't even know anywhere in London, it's just me, him, like that. So, but the influence of my friends even added to it, to my spiritual husband that was tormenting me. But now I'm so happy that I'm delivered from, from it. So, thank you, Jesus, and thank you, man of God, for saving me. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. So we heard it from our sister, she said that when her husband left, uh, strangely, just suddenly, he, he left UK to come to Nigeria despite his businesses there. At that moment, she was having the influence of bad friends. And tell us, sister, these, the influence of these friends, what did that influence lead you to, to do? The influence of these bad friends you were moving with? A lot of things. That's going out, thinking out of wedlock. You know, not concentrating on my husband, even though sometimes my husband will call me, I don't concentrate on him, makes me to hate him, to feel that, oh, I live in the darkness, this man is not for me, you know, so a lot of things. And when that spirit of lust would come upon you, you would not be able to control yourself at that point? Yeah, I, I wouldn't know, it's like somebody get drunk, you don't know what you're doing, you think you're doing the right thing at, the, at that right time. So we thank God that last week you came to the Synagogue Church for Nations, received that prophecy, and the man of God prayed for you. Just tell us what happened to you when the man of God prayed for you. When he prayed for us, because this is me, I don't believe in prayers. But when I saw him, I was scared. Then when he prayed for me, I feel something strange leaving, leaving my body immediately. So when you people take me back against oh God, and on top of all, as far as I'm in this building, I know I've delivered already. So you mean to say that since that prayer, you felt something leave you? And ever since then, what are the changes in your life and your marriage? I've been thinking differently. It's like I just married my husband newly. The first love I have for him, it's like I just renew it again. So thank you, man of God, for delivering me for, for spirit of loss. Thank you so much. God bless you. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. We give all the glory to God for what he has done in the life of this couple. And Madam, what is your word of advice to our viewers around the world with what Jesus has done for you? Well, it's just to believe in God. And if you have any problem, don't hide it from God. Don't listen to people. Just come straight to a living church and be delivered and have trust. Thank you, Jesus Christ. And finally, let's just hear a word of advice from our brother as well to cap off this wonderful testimony. Sir, what is your word of advice, especially to married couples that may be facing a challenge that you and your wife once faced before you came here? Yeah. My advice to a couple is 
who are also in the state we were in the past, stand by your loved one. Because this spirit that is tormenting, making someone to do what they're not supposed to do, it's not really the person. It is the spirit behind it. So I would advise couple to key into that way that you don't reject someone because of their weakness. Rather, see how you can assist them out of faith. And also, when you have any problem, don't run from God. Run to God and come and get your deliverance. Look for any living church and get delivered. And the same God that located us will also locate you for the glory of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. So we thank God.